Kia ora, I'm Kyra, my artist name is Hazza, um, and I'm a full-time artist, and this is my space. Well, I've been an artist basically my whole life, um, and then throughout those stages I've kind of uh, dived into different disciplines. The most foundational part of my art process is graffiti, and from there, like, different parts have stemmed off. There was a moment I decided I was good at art, which was in school, and then there was a moment I decided, um, like, I was really into graffiti. And then when I was 18, uh, maybe 19, I think, um, I was actually boat building and I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore. Mostly I just saw my boss get injured like really easily um, and it kind of like spooked me out of it. Um, so I decided to go study. So I moved, I was currently living in Whangarei and I moved back to Auckland um, to study design and visual arts and I did my degree in uh, graphic design. And then after that, I pursued a, a career designing for Burgerfield. When I was younger, all of my friends were older um, and they were already sort of like truly, well and truly into their art practices and they'd seen a lot of the world and they'd done a lot of things. So they had all this um, content like within them that allowed them to create and I, like, I didn't have that. So it was really hard when I first started out, but it's just a, it's, you have to like play the long game and you have to allow yourself to just um, pick up all like everything you need in life and you'll get to a point where that manifests into a picture where you can begin to paint um, and I think I was just like really impatient for a while but um, like I just kind of basically over the last few years just let that be and uh, all of that is kind of the product of what I'm doing now um, which is talking about um, issues that I see that affect me, whether they're cultural issues or um, like environmental issues, but things that like really impact me, like or that are close to home for me. Um, so at the moment, like I really try and talk about, um, I guess, multicultural issues, because just as an indigenous artist in this country, and also um, like another big thing that's really coming into my practice is just mental health issues and trying to um, just trying to talk about those things to like reach people that haven't quite figured out that part yet and and hopefully they can use my art as a language to um, communicate and 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 figure out that it's not like such a lonesome journey the the piece that I've put into into the show is it's a piece that I painted last year um, and it's it's basically this um, this battle between you know, well, on, on first glance, it's this battle between heaven and hell, um, and, and where the two um, spears meet, uh, and, and what you'll see in the work, it's like that's kind of where I operate in between there. So I'm sitting on the fence of, of good and bad, um, you know, trying to be a good person, but I've done a lot of bad things, and yeah, I just really wanted to get that into a visual. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing to to have like negativity in your life because sometimes you need that to to see um to see like that you need to make a positive change and sometimes i think if you're too positive you miss the negative things in life that need to be fixed so it's kind of like walking the balance of that life um of that that space um and you know like i've always been drawn to um like the yin yang so it's just a very powerful image and everyone sees it how they want to see it um, but someone told it to me once and they said that you know rather than um, like a balance of, of good and evil and dark and light um, but the little line that runs through it is kind of the journey that we walk between good and bad and, and positive and negative um, and you know and navigating through that space is, is kind of like an important part of life um, so that's kind of what this work is it's, it's really just me navigating in between like the good and bad that I've done in life and and sitting on the fence and trying to figure out which side I'm going to jump off onto um, but yeah I haven't figured that out yet yeah the best place to view my work is probably just on my Instagram which is hazardnz um, or my website which is hazardnz.com